When the air show kicks off on April 17th, things are going to look different, but there's a few things that not even a restricted air box can change. Matt Yonkin will take to the skies twice for his seventh thunder. Well, I fly World War II era surplus uh, twin beach 18. It was a navigation trainer during the war uh, known as an AT-7. It's a big red and black airplane with two engines and two tails and it makes a lot of smoke and a lot of noise and we do an aerobatic demonstration with it that you're not supposed to be able to do with a twin beach this chunky airplane unlike anything else you'll see at thunder this year unless you count the second time you'll see it this year at thunder and then we hang a whole bunch of lights on it and wait till the sun goes down and go out and do it again after dark so that's uh it's also very unique. The top of the airplane appears to glow in the dark. You can see all the way to the wingtips and see the whole tail and the way the engines are lit up and all that. And the bottom of it twinkles. So it's really easy to tell uh, which way the aircraft is orientated as it goes by. 2020 was a tough year for Yonkin as air show after air show canceled. But with April 17th on the horizon, he's ready to get back after it. I booked 20, uh, 23 shows last year, and only three of those actually worked. So uh, three out of 23 is not very good for the profit and loss statement. Looking forward to getting back out there and doing it. And uh, Louisville is my first show of the 2021 season. And always one of my favorites. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be invited back to Louisville several years in a row and um, I kind of feel like you guys are family. Now remember, you can only watch Thunder Over Louisville right here on WHES 11. We're only 16 days away from the big show on April 17th.